Hey ladies, so I wanted to give you an update on the due date. So I was mistaken, I was under the impression that we could create due dates for each item in our checklist, and that is untrue, which is a big bummer, but I wanna show you um, two ways that you can go ahead and create that due date so that you get those push notifications um, that will still you know, give you a little bit of a push to get things done. So. Um, here I am on my Trello board, still working on my hostess coaching. So I'm going to click on it, and um, I'm going to go ahead and click on Leah Derner's card as we've been watching, watching this card um, get created. And you cannot add individual um, due dates for these. Um, I looked up in the Trello how to, and a year ago they had shown a way of getting around it and said that this was a great idea and they were thinking of adding it but it's been a year and it hasn't been added yet so I'm not so sure we're gonna see it happen so there's two things that you can do one you can just simply put a due date on your actual card so let's just say that the next reminder that I need is maybe on the 17th and 12 o'clock and I hit save and so what's going to happen is March 17th at 12 o'clock, I'm going to get a notification on my phone that says that Leah Derner is due. <laughs> so that'll just give me um, a reminder to look at her checklist and see what I haven't gotten done yet and touch, touch base with her. All right, so that's that's one way. And then what would I, what, what I would do then is just simply change the due date again on to the next time that I need to check in with her. I'm thinking I would change those due dates for touch point one, two, and three. That's really what I need those due dates for. Um, just to remind me, you know, to get that stuff done. So that's one, one thing you can do. The other thing that you can do is if you, and this might work if you, you know, have like catalog parties or Facebook parties going on at the same time. Um, but what you do is you would create a whole new checklist. So um, we'll call that due dates. And you're gonna add a card, and maybe this card is touch point one. Okay. You open touch point one, and when you open it, if you watch, see this website up here? This is connected to my whole hostess coaching um, board. When I click on the card touch point one, look, my website has changed in the address bar. So this address right here is connected to this touch point card. So you would create a due date, let's say March 17th, 12 p.m., and hit save. And then what you would do is you would copy this website, close this card, go into Leah Derner, and touch point one modify it and paste that site right in there and hit save. So here's that site. So when that touch point one due date um, notification shows up on your phone, it's connected with this touch point and it's going to remind you. So there's those are two different ways to do this. That one is not going to work for me. I am not going to create a whole new list of cards for each one of these, that's just too much work. For me, I can easily just put the due date for each card. It gives me a reminder of what I need to do. And to be quite honest with you, with my cell phone, I will probably go through my checklist every single day anyway. So, um, like I said, the, the touch point um, due dates are the only ones that I really need to focus on. Um, so anyway, those are two different ways to use the, um, I'm gonna actually archive this list. There we go. Um, those are the two different ways that you can um, use. Whoops. Those are the two different ways that you can use your due dates. And I apologize um, for misleading you into thinking that we could make checklist due dates. Hopefully, maybe Trello listens to all of us and decides that we are smart and they add the due dates for the checklist. All right, ladies. Um, Today's this is the last one for today. I really need to go hostess coach, so I'll talk to you later.